Look at this, Josh just doubled up. Two rods went off at the same time. Oh, Grouper? Yeah! Take your time, take your time. Just stay focused, keep the line tight. Let him wear out a little more. Yeah, buddy. Nice, bro. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There, I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna. We got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Look at the Panama! Yeah, literally every drop, like 100 bait, or they're coming up to my boat and then scattering. I got something on, it might be bait. Oh. Got something good on the 20 gram micro jig from Catch Fishing. Woo -wee. It's strong, feels kinda like a bonita, probably a big one. They're a strong fish, they're a fun fight. Oh no, it's a, uh, ah, African pompano, nice. These are good to eat. Yeah, beautiful fish, especially on light tackle. This is a blast, they are strong fighters and this is a pretty decent one. And you'll see they got pretty wild pectoral fins, dorsal fins. Oh, I got a, I got Jack Revolves following it up. Ugh. Look at that beautiful fish. This is an African pompano. Look at that kind of crazy dorsal fin it's got. In fact, we've actually had a few clients think they had a rooster fish when they caught these. But that guy hit that little catch micro jig. It's just 20 grams using it trying to catch bait. This guy's uh, definitely too big for bait. But this little uh, this little jig from catch fish is just kind of catching it all. Catching it all. Too much fun. They're strong fish. Oh yeah. This is something big on really light tackle and got color. Jack Revolt, big one. He's saying hi, baby, from Panama. <laughs> he said, hey, Sonny, this, this one's for you. Josh here from Fort Lauderdale. Yo! The nice Jack. One of the strongest fighting fish out here. Yeah, he's an ornery little sucker. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Woo! And there he goes. Nice work, bro. Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're strong, man, for their size. Tuna. Woo! I told you I'd catch tuna. Nah, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! yeah. I did it! <laughs> That's a lot of blood, dude. He's got it right next to his bow, but I can't get a look at it to tell what it is. It doesn't look big enough to pull you over, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a jack. <laughs> Just a big jack. The third one I've caught today. Ah, yellowfin. Sashimi. All right, Emily Pruitt here from Texas is hooked up on a lot of bait. Well, looks like a pretty good fish. Just take your time and just keep the line tight. And you can lift them up. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, careful! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you almost went in. That counts though. That's a catch. Leader's a catch, and you grab the fish. You almost got him after. Oh my gosh. Look at another one. Yeah, definitely. That was awesome, though. Fought the whole thing on your own, no problem. Nice work. Oh, that was funny. You almost, I mean, you did everything you could to try to get that fish back. <laughs> almost. I was really ready to swim with him. I saw that. I saw that. You almost did go swim with him. <laughs> Heartbreak, but don't worry, we'll get you another one. But that counts. That's, I mean, that's your first rooster fish from a kayak. Yeah. It's official. Man, pretty. They're beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it would have been pretty in your lap. That was awesome. I thought you were gonna get it or go in one or the other. So <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> Full drag. 
Oh, big rooster, baby! Big rooster, baby! Big rooster! Nice, we got Zach here from California. He's already got one rooster under his belt this trip, and now he says he's got a monster on right under the boat. Big rooster. Just take your time. Yeah! Yeah! Great fish, man. That was decent, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, great fish, bro. Great fish. So you land him the same way, kind of reach into his gill plate. He's pretty chill. You probably go for it here whenever you're ready. Nope, big enough. Keep your pedal, keep one foot forward. Yeah. So you don't make sense to drive? Yeah, so he doesn't get up in the drive and break off. Once he gets close, you can grab the line and uh, bring him into you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! yeah! Nice! <laughs> Great fish, dude! Yeah. Rooster number two. Oh, that hurts like a sun burn. <laughs> Put that in front of his mouth. 46 and a half. Great fish, bro. I'll get this back to you. And then just pedal around and make sure her mouth's in the water and uh, try to keep her mouth open. And, but you're gonna want, you're gonna need to do it for a while. Like probably like five solid minutes. Even if she kicks a little bit, hold on to her and keep going. Nice work, bro. Hell yeah. Hell of a fish. I gotta find out what my wife wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you can call your wife back later. You got a trophy rooster fish. Hey on the Dan, line. what did my wife say? Yeah, Mrs. Bruce, we apologize. She just uh, texted Dan asking for uh, Zach to call her and. He was heading over there to give her a call and got hit by that rooster. All right, Emily and I, we're both just running divers over this ledge. We were just talking about what we would do if we hooked up, and both of us hooked up at the exact same time. Hers went off and mine went off right after. Uh. Yeah, some pretty good. Oh, mine's fighting like a jack. It looks like a jack. It is a jack. Yours probably is too. They're such strong fish. This is a pretty good one. Nice jack of all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Doubling up. Non stop action out here right now. Emily's still fighting hers. Oh, no. Didn't like the boat. He said no, sir. Nice. It's weird. In Texas and Florida and the Atlantic, they always have yellow on them, but here they don't ever. They're all silver. I don't know what it is. It makes it different, but. Jack, yeah? <laughs> nice fish there. One of the strongest fighting fish out here, pound for pound. That is a pretty chunky one. And uh, they'll run around in packs of about 10 to a dozen fish. And we must have just ran right over one. We both had a little Yozuri diver diving plug out. And uh, both went off at the same time. Too much fun. Let that guy on his way. Right. Nice, nice work. They're strong, and yeah, I mean that run, you can barely get the rod out of the rod holder. Oof. Nicely done. It's only paid off. <laughs> yeah, it's like anytime you're moving spots, might as well have some kind of hooks in the water, you know? Good. Oh. <laughs> Fighting a rooster on a popper. Whoa. Something real nice, bud. Something real nice. Jack, I think. No, African pompano. Woo, baby, bear them all. Woo. All right, I was just trolling the popper over here because Zach's hooked up. Oh, oh no. 
Oh man, I was throwing the popper behind me, heading over to Zach. Something big annihilated it and it just came off. Oh my gosh. Action is hot and heavy. Rooster fish for Corey, rooster fish for Zach. Emily lost one. I mean, she's not stop right now. The bite's kind of been off and on, but when it's on, it seems like uh, the entire group's hooking up at once. Crazy action. I just lost something massive on a popper and since two other roosters bit at the exact same time, I'm thinking maybe now it was a rooster fish, but we'll see and keep working this popper. Look at this, Josh has doubled up. Two rods went off at the same time. And uh, his buddy Corey just came over. They came here together from Florida. What is it? Grouper? Oh man, we got a grouper on? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Take your time, take your time. Just stay focused, keep the line tight. Let him wear out a little more. Yeah, buddy. Nice, bro. Yeah, dude, nice. Josh is a nice grouper. Is it not a broomtail? No, it's a jukefish. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. No way. First one we've caught, huh? First. If that, I think this is a Goliath grouper, that would be the first one we've ever landed out here. Oh, bro, yeah, dude. That is a fish. Holy sh! Just not too far. You can grab his gills, just don't go too far. That's a Goliath, dude, for sure. Uh, I want to I wanna get this in the boat. <laughs> just, hey, get ready and you got to kind of lean, you know? Yeah. Counter lean with all that weight. You're going to have to lean the other way, bro, or it's going to pull you over on that side. I see you're leaning too far already. <laughs> you can even put your leg up. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Yeah, buddy. we've ever landed here bro look at that leave it to the Florida boy to come here and get a Goliath oh my god dude look at that fish oh my god <laughs> oh it's beautiful too man great color I'm worn out oh hell yeah I know you're worn out and he was doubled up that was a uh... That was a cluster. That was impressive, Josh. Dude, nice work. All right. Look at that. First Goliath grouper in lodge history. Client, guide, anyone. No one's ever caught one. And that's a good one, bro. That's a fish. All right. That is a lap full of fish right there. Almighty, that is a lot of fish. Oh wow. All right, you want to? We're gonna release them. All right, because they're not they're not good to eat. Oh, that's fine. Uh, he's gonna need to be revived for sure. All right, all right, well. Can I just slot him off and... Yeah, uh, but you're not gonna be able to hold on to his tail. It'd be better if you could kind of grab in his gill plate. Yeah, just again, just don't go too deep in there. There's not a whole lot to grab onto in there. Yeah. Well, you, you could drop him in and just, maybe he'll just go. Let's see. And if not, we can grab him. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah hook's out. Oh, oh, straight down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> what? Woo! That was a beast, bro! <laughs> How did measure it <laughs> i don't matter it was big the biggest, biggest one we've ever caught i didn't think about that it don't matter wow. see that had to been put 50 pounds yeah, i feel sure. yeah he would do he was yeah he had some that's girth bro that's a 50 pound grouper easy i'd say Woo. yeah you talking about getting freight trained yeah bro wow yeah on this one and he hit that one yeah i had to throw my bait rod down and Corey came up and got it. I have my bait rod out of the kayak. I said, we gotta come get this. <laughs> that was wild, man. And that was right after you said, this is a good spot to have bait in the water. Yeah. It's usually big fish swimming around. That's it, bro. Josh just landed the first ever Goliath grouper at the lodge and uh, easily 50 pounds, I'd say, maybe pushing 60. It was a fat fish. That was sick. Woo! We've always known they were here, but no one's ever caught one, and that was a that was a stud. Nice work. Hell of a fish, dude. I've never caught a Goliath. Whoa! Woo! Golly! Get some of that! Woo! Oh!